The Metro file train keeps moving, and the next stop is Kogi State, southwest Nigeria, to witness the Egbe Unity Day. Various people who have in different ways contributed to the development of the community were honored, and one of the honorees is the chief executive officer of Florida-based Banyan Earth Service, Mr. Don Campion. Let's go check this out. The luxuriant hills of the savanna vegetation welcomes you to this ancient town of Egbe Mekun, popularly called Egbe, in Yagba West local government area of Kogi State, southwest Nigeria. <laughs> Friends and family members from the United States of America and across Nigeria have come here to celebrate with one of their own. The Chief Executive Officer of Florida-based Banyan Earth Service, Mr. Don Campion, at the third edition of the Egbe Unity Day. Mr. Campion is among several dignitaries receiving traditional titles for their contribution to the development of Egbe community. All dressed in traditional outfits, they are obviously ready for the day's event. It's a celebration of culture and tradition as drums and dance steps welcome sons and daughters of Egbe who have come to celebrate this annual event. The coordinator, the Olutu of Egbe Land, Adedoin Bolaji, tells us what the Egbe Unity Day is all about. Uh, two years ago, when our KBSC was installed as the Egbe of Egbe, he gave a proclamation that every anniversary of that installation will be declared as Unity Day. The kind of unity that was displayed in 2014 was infectious. And he declared that every day, every uh, anniversary of that installation will be celebrated as Unity Day by Egbe people. As all settle down for the business of the day, some youths of the community entertain guests present with songs. <laughs> That's done. It's time to honor some select persons who have contributed their own quarter to the developments of the community, including Reverend Tommy Titcomb, a British-born Canadian missionary and his wife, who brought Christianity to Egbe community in 1908. It is because of God's grace that they were able to come and serve as they did. So all glory be to God the Father. Next is the highlight of the event, as Mr. Campion and his wife are being honored with the traditional title of Alatsushi and Yeye Alatsushi of Egbe for their role in renovating the Egbe Hospital, which was built by his father in 1953. Thank God for the parents that came here before us, and we pray for the youth of the future here to sustain and make this company this, this uh, city grew to become one of the greatest in the world. He's, he's the son of Dr. and Mrs. Campion, who established the Egbe Hospital as far back as 1952 in Egbe. And uh, we, we celebrate them. You know, the hospital was down, but thank God. He was able to come back. Don Campion came back after over 40 years of the establishment of the hospital to revitalize it. If you go there now, you'll be satisfied that the place is a world-class hospital. Mr. Campion was born in Egbe, Kogi State in 1954 to Canadian medical missionaries, Dr. George and Esther Campion. 
As a child growing up in Nigeria, he watched his parents work with faith to help a community in need at that moment. That experience taught him the value of teamwork, and together with his lovely wife, Sue Ann, they have continued to follow that trend to help humanity. All the wish the honorees is the very best.